Keep watching Charis TV. Thank you for your grace upon my life. There is, there is a person here. You have a case at work. And this case, they have framed you. They have framed you. And now they want to fire you. You're about to lose your job. Please come, we pray together. They are wrongfully accusing you for something you do not know. This is the man I was talking about. <laughs> Said they are wrongfully accusing you for something you don't know. You are right. And now you are about to lose your job because of these people. God says, I must tell you, you will not lose your job. Amen. But they will go for your Amen. sake. Amen. In Jesus' name. Did you are free. Go back to your work. You will not lose your job. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I pray for you. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T. E. Makananisa. And with me here today is my father, who was located during the service by Prophetess Tendo Simono, who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Mr. Nezamba. I'm all the way from Tembisa. Today, during the service, Prophet Tender located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. Uh, what the Prophet said to me was very true because this, uh, the, the way she put it is what I was facing at work. This thing has been recurring since from last year. So last year they failed, they just managed to me. And then this year, they did it again. So to me, when she called me, when she mentioned, it was not uh, I mean, a surprise. Because even tomorrow, I'm going for a case at labor court. This case has been taken to labor court. So tomorrow, I'm going there. And how has this affected you? It has affected me emotionally and even financially. You know, even at home, it affected me a lot, badly. And how do you feel that Prophetess Tender located you, ministered upon your life, and even assured you that you are going to go back to work? No, I'm very much happy because of what she said. Uh, I don't know how can I put it in my language because I'm very much happy. Yeah, I'm very much happy. You, your own, is done by people who are sitting, staying around you. I wish you can move. Amen. I wish you move. Because this keeps happening. It keeps happening. Yeah, every year. It keeps happening. The people who are around you move. Are you hearing me? Yes. You won't lose your job, but move. Amen. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. You are free. Hallelujah. There is a person who has re hip replacement. Your hip is giving you a problem. And the doctors are saying it must be replaced. Come, we pray together. God will heal you. Come, we pray together. You have a serious pain on your side. You have a problem of the hip. Hmm? Yes. And they say they want to replace it. I'm going for operation on, on the 4th of this 
14th of this month. The 14th of this month. Yes. I cancel this operation in Jesus' name. Because if you become operated, you are going to be crippled. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Lift up your hands. I pray for you. Touch, touch, touch you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Can I hit you on your side? Jesus name no operation in Jesus name you are free right, so kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from uh, my name is Richard Negova I'm coming from Woodbank so today during the service Prophetess Tender located you and minister upon your life please tell us what she said and please confirm it I'm struggling off the, the back pains the um, According to the doctors, they've diagnosed that uh, I've got um, the, lower, the lower part of my spine is got, it's injured. They have to do operations on the 14th of this November month. Yeah. So I've been allocated by the prophecy uh, that we sh she spoke exactly what was happening on, at my back. So after a prayer, um, um, the pain has subsided till so far. I cannot feel any pain anymore. That which is confirmed that I mustn't go for operation. Yeah. And how has this pain been affecting you? It was only very much on my daily basis duties that I should do at work. I cannot carry heavy stuff. I cannot bend for a long time. I cannot sit for a long time. I have to sit maybe less than 20 minutes standing, less than 20 minutes walking. That's, that is the, the, the continuous work I'm doing nearly every day. So apart from in that, I cannot survive. Sometimes I cannot sleep well. Yes. And so how do you feel that today Prophet is tender located you and minister upon your life? Uh, exactly. That, was, that, that is what I was here for. I came for that, such, that kind of prophecies. In fact, for myself, I came for deliverance. Yeah, so I'm feeling very much happy that God allocated me. So it healed me exactly the moment time that I wanted it to be. If you have a marital problem, come to the front. Let us pray together. We have died. going back This man won't divorce you. Do you hear what I said? Yes. I don't know your husband, but he won't divorce you. Are you hearing me? Yes. 
something strange is going to happen. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Something strange is going to happen. Somebody is going to die for your sake. So don't leave your home. Go home and rejoice. Are you hearing me? Yes. What did I say? You say go. I was supposed to go home and rejoice. Go home and rejoice. God bless you, ma. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Pogaz Somchu. I'm coming from Cape Town. Today during the service, Prophetess Tender located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what she said and please confirm it. She said, my husband is going to divorce me. He wants to divorce me. And the someone is going to die for me. And supposed to go home to and to rejoice. And are you facing any problems in your marriage? Um, you know, to confirm what the prophet is, is talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'm facing a lot of problem in my marriage. Lord, we are fighting all the times. My husband is drinking a lot. If I drinking, if if he is drinking, you're not sleeping in in our house sometimes the whole weekend sleeping out when i ask them they say is we he was angry with me all the time so that's and how has this affected you yo it's a pain it's painful it's painful and i'm not focused to do anything because of that yes and how do you feel that prophetess tender located you and spoke upon your life? Yeah, I feel, uh, feel a peace yeah, in my mind, in my, and I feel my body is free. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Mate come, I pray for you. Where is your wife? Call your wife for me, please. Mama Junior, come. There is a spirit that steals from you. Are you aware? Yes, I'm aware of it. You lose money anyhow. Yes, my or can I use the word you misplace? Yes. Because my wife, she was even complaining yesterday. She said, we, we, we have money, but all of a sudden it's finished. Whatever that we, whatever that we, we did with the money. You don't know. don't know. There's a spirit that is stealing from you. So I want to pray for you to break the spirit because you have great plans. You sit in your plan, but you don't know what happens to your money. Yes, that's true. Place your hand on your stomach. In Jesus' name. Matebula, you are free. Matebula, you are free. Hallelujah. Life, sir. Now, Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is David from Ivory Park. Prophet Stendor located you and ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, she located me. She said, uh, "Are you aware that there is a spirit that is stealing finances in your house?" And uh, I confirmed it to be true, because we sometimes I hold money Jesus and all of a sudden it's finished, but I cannot show what is it that I have done with it. So even my wife, she was complaining. She said, "Ah, when I, uh, when you have money, money is just finished. That whatever it is that you have done, we cannot see." Yeah, so I confirm that whatever that she said, it's 100% true. And how has that affected your house? Because uh, I'm a person who, who doesn't like to talk too much. So when she was like, I felt as if she was accusing me that I am misusing money in the house. But I kept quiet because I was still planning, planning to talk to her about it after the service. Because like it was troubling my spirit. Because whatever that we do with money, uh, there is nothing that I hide from her. So that it, it really troubled my spirit. 
So, but I believe that since we have been located, we have been delivered and we have been restored in our house.